So I recently got given an Iowa mini disc player recorder from someone very special and he has really looked after it. As you see here, it is just stunning. No marks, it is just, just well looked after. This is the mini disc recorder AMF75 made by Iowa. And Iowa is just a brilliant company. I really do love them. Um, they're just epic. They just make such good hi-fi equipment. The main feature that I really do love on this is that if you press shift plus search and you use the multi-jog, you can actually go to the track that you like. You press shift, go to the track and press enter and it goes straight to that track and starts playing already. I actually have five mini discs so far. Um, including one blue one, which I will show you in a minute. Um, the first one is the Pesh Modes Speak and Spell. This is the first mini disc that I did the artwork for. Um, it is just awesome looking. This is actually the also the first disc that I did with the mini disc cover site. Um, it, um, you know, I've used the website many times, but the problem is, is it ain't brilliant. It's not the best. Um, it does need updating a bit more. Um, I because it was that bad. I did nearly um, send feedback and say, "Oh, you know, it needs fixing." There's many problems with it, and then I thought, "Well, maybe that could help others." But then actually, I turned to someone else, and he helped me with the artwork, and he helped, you know, make it on Photoshop. And now I can do the artwork properly on Photoshop. You know, put the images anywhere I want. Unlike on the mini disc website, you couldn't really do that. The mini disc logo was stuck there. You couldn't move it. You could move the image like that, but that was it. That's all you could do. You couldn't put that anywhere else. You couldn't put this anywhere else. But on Photoshop, you can put that anywhere. You can put it down there. You can put it, you know, just that. But in part two about the artwork, I will um, talk about the website in much more detail and why not to use it. So with this disc is I actually used a red TDK MD80. And the reason why I use the red one is because look, it matches the cover, matches the cover, matches the spine, matches everything about the album. And it's just cool. The second one I did was the Talk Talk Essential disc. You see it's blue writing, black background, blue there, and then blue there, and then blue there. Um, this is actually the second one I did with the mini disc website. Um, it wasn't brilliant. I didn't enjoy really making this one. I enjoyed recording it because I absolutely love the band, Talk Talk, you know, brilliant. Anyone that says they're crap or, you know, dislike them, you're just mad not to like them. Um, but, you know, they're brilliant. Um, so this is the same case as the other one and all the cases that I use are the same. I will also talk about um, where to get the cases from and who's the best to get them from um, in part two. I won't go on about that now. But you see, you see, the mini disc logo is too small. Yeah, it's all right there. Um, and it doesn't really come out perfect quality. It doesn't go all the way to the end there. The main thing I did enjoy about this one, though, is the the actual disc itself. You see, because look at that colour. It's a TDK MD80, but the colour is very similar to the, the album colour. See? third one I did was Nickelback's Curb album. When I do the artwork, I always make sure that the spine is um, sort of, you know, same colours um, on the front cover because as you see, the road lines um, are yellow and the Nickelback logo is yellow. So I try to make sure that the spine was the same colour. Um, see, and this side is the same colour, yellow. And I actually grabbed this image from somewhere else. This isn't actually that image. That's a different road. Um, and then you got the yellow track listing and the mini disc logo there. And this um, wasn't actually made with the mini disc website. That's why it looks so good compared to the other one. The Talk Talk one. See? It's just much nicer quality, goes all the way to the end this time. So with this disc, is it isn't actually yellow because there wasn't enough yellow really to make it a yellow disc. It's actually a black disc to match the road. So I thought instead of doing yellow, I could do 
blackish silver sort of disc. This is a TDK MD80 as well. The next one I did was David Essex's Touching the Ghost album. This was 1989. This is an absolutely fantastic album. I love him. He's, he's a brilliant singer. Uh, the track listing, it goes red, black, red, black, red, black. Um, and it just so on and this was done with photoshop template as well and because there's quite a bit of red i made sure i had a red disc as well this is my first sony mini disc i've never ever had a sony one here we have the next one is japan's the very best of album um you see it's it's a blackish with some bit of red bits bit of red spine so obviously it's not going to be a red disc but this was done with the photoshop template you see but I know it's kind of hard to see his face with the glasses and the hair. I can see that clearly. But actually, when you look on the CD album of this, it's actually even harder to see his face. Um, so I brightened up the image, you know, to get it much better. And um, see, what I've done is instead of making it just a black background on the track listing section, I've actually, you know, grabbed it from there and put it on the back. And it actually looks really nice. So, yeah, and this is a black disc or silverish black. This is a TDK MD80 as well. I don't have many of the Sony discs. I am going to in the future because they are awesome. Okay, so here is the blue one. Sony MD80 blue. Oh my God, it's just, just nice, you know. They are really nice mini discs. Um, I prefer the red one to the blue, but the blue, oh, just really nice. It is a really nice disc, you know. And the case that this actually came in um, is actually a Sony case, which is good because it matches the disc. You know, you can pop it open like that and then you can write. See, it's made by Sony there and you put the title, the date, what you recorded on, you know, the machine. Um, you can click it in like that and then slide the disc in like that, as you see. And it just looks really nice on your shelf or you know, in the case. Okay, so the device I'm going to be using for recording today is the UK Special Edition Sony Mini Disc Deck MDS JB930QS Edition. As you see, this was actually made for the UK. That's why we got the UK Special Edition. Um, it's really nice, such a nice device. Um, and it just sounds brilliant at that. Um, as you see, it has an A track DSP type R current pulse DA converter. You have all the sort of buttons, you know, pitch control, filter time, play mode, scroll, display. You have the keyboard input, um, which means you can do, do the track listing on the actual disc itself um, without having to use the jog shuffle. But unfortunately, I don't have the keyboard at the moment, so I can't show you that. But I will get one soon. This is the phone level. I have never used it. This is the timer. Record off and play. There you go. So it loads it in. That's a really nice loading mechanism. I do love this. Do love this machine. The whole thing's just nice. See blank disc, zero tracks. You've got 80 minutes and 59 seconds. So 80 minutes. That's cool. That's plenty enough recording time for me. So then we just press record. And it just puts it in record pause. So it's not like a cassette deck. Um, if you don't press record pause um, on the cassette deck, it just goes straight to recording. Okay, so now if we go to menu slash no, we can go to set up question mark. So that's what it's asking. Do you want to set up? So then you press in here. Set up menu, you got T mark. So then if you do that, you got S space on. So space is basically, you know, your your thing that actually makes the tracks itself so if you press on that's on so you can actually use any device for really you know you could do reel to reel as long as it's connected to the amplifier you know cassette vinyl cd um i'm always doing cd really because um i just find you know digital to digital you know it's you know it's always the best so as you see it says no disc and with this is it actually has a fixed pickup mechanism. So if you take this out, it's basically acts as a weight. So here I have Human League's Dare. So put it in like that and then you put the weight on. This is also a QS edition. This is the Compact Display CDP XB920E QS. This is also a QA because the mini disc player is a QS and the CD player is a QS. So that's cool. 
Um, so there we got 10 tracks. Um, it's Reddit. We got 10 tracks. But before you start, you know, pressing play and record, oh my god, oh my god, oh, you know, press record, you actually make sure you need to check the settings on your CD player to make sure you're recording perfectly. On the CD player, you have a current pulse DA converter, variable coefficient digital filter. So it's, you know, amazing features on this CD player. Um, here we have the filter STD. So we have one. So that is one. Filter two. And filter three. And they basically change the sound um, to make it, you know, suit what you're doing. You've got play mode, so then it blinks up shuffle. And you've got program, so you can do program. And you go back and then continue. Continue basically means go back to where you were. Um, and then repeat. You can repeat. So see, you got repeat there. And then you press repeat again. Repeat once. So that's just one track. And then repeat off. So then you're back to normal again. And then you've got fader. So fader. Fader five seconds, and then fade. You know, fader again five seconds. Press it again, and then it comes, comes off again. And you got time, time text. Track ten, forty minutes and fifty three seconds. Press it again, it comes up again. And you got peak search. So on the disc, you press that, and it plays the disc, and then it basically plays through the disc and searches all the way until the finish. To stop that, because I never really use that. Um, you can if you want to, but I don't. Um, and you got auto space. So auto space is the main feature that I always use for mini discs. I never really use it for listening to the CD. I only use it for recording the mini disc. Uh, so if you press it, auto space just comes on. Press it again, auto space comes off. So when you press it, basically what this does, um, if you um, load the disc in again, then auto space, see it, it's changing the length of the disc. So if you go to there, you've got 40 minutes. You do auto space, it's 41 in 20 seconds. Okay, so before you press play on your disc, you have to make sure that it is paused. And then on the actual mini disc recorder, you have to make sure your recording levels are good. So let's press play on the disc. Let it play. Adjust the recording level. Put it about there that should do it and then press pause on the disc put it back again so it says zero minutes and zero seconds and then press play so it's recording and press play on the disc and there you go so we're currently counting down from the disc 80 minutes and then there it says no name so if we go to menu edit menu name in question mark press that press in and then you just turn the jog to the right. And then I always do my track listing in capitals. So, you know, something uh, just random, you know. I don't know. So like that and then that and then that. And then you press yes there. And then that says that, like that. And it says complete. So your track is complete until it stops recording. Okay, so here is the turntable I will be using. The This is the Belt Drive Stereo Turntable System PSLX350H. It does speed 33 and 45. The main thing that I do like about this is you have pitch controls, so you can go slow and then really fast, but I always keep it normal because I don't really mess with it, but I do like it. Um, and you have the lever switch there, and then the weight, and then here is the vinyl I will be playing, Le Mole, Love In Your Eyes. Here you have the power switch, like that, turns it off, do that. And then you start, stop, it starts, and then stop it, like that. Let's just make sure we got it on 45, because it is a 45 single. Um, what I always make sure that I do for playing this turntable is I make sure that I put the lever down before it is spinning and then I press start and it will start playing the music. So I'd make sure um, that your turntable is down. Um, so before you press record on the mini disc, you want to make sure that your amplifier is set to phono. Okay, so let me just show you that pitch control. So if we do that, look, that's super quick. 
super slow, super quick. You can really mess with this and then do just zero and it's back to normal again. Okay, so what if I want to record from mini disc to mini disc? Let's say I wanted, I don't know, a blue mini disc recording on a red mini disc recording, you know, double the recording. Um, well, you can actually do that and I'll show you how to. So on the back of the amp, I have the AUX connected to a RCA out to a 3.5. So what you do with this is you can actually use this on a Bluetooth adapter such as this, a phone, a tablet, any of that. Um, but really what we want to do is we want to put this into the line out on the mini disc player. Okay, so here I have the mini disc player with the AUX 3.5 in into the line out on the headphone you make sure you don't put it in the line in because you know just mess it up so let's fire this up and start recording to another mini disc there you go so the vus are bouncing so it knows it's got something going in there press play straight away there you go so you're currently mini disc to mini disc how cool is that I don't know, like a blue mini disc to a red mini disc, yellow mini disc to a blue mini disc, you know, simple. There you go. So, you know, your possibilities, you have got loads and loads of possibilities of recording. Um, just make sure that your VUs are correct um, and you're not peeking over and you're not, you know, distorting. You know, it. it's not like a hard um, hobby, but it is a very simple hobby. Um, and it takes a while to learn, you know, I struggle to learn me just a little bit and then I thought, well, you know, it's actually quite simple once you get to know it. And the machines you use, it really depends, you know, there isn't very much you could say about the machines as long as it's, you know, from a quality company, you know, not a crap one, you know, you know, bloody Crosley or something. Please don't do that Crosley. Anyways, you'll just ruin it. But like Sony, you know, they were probably the best. I really did like them, their mini disc players, and they really are just stunning machines. And you know, mini discs, you know, mini discs are just nice. And if you record them properly, you can really get the best out of the mini discs. So yeah, this has been part one of mini discs. If you did enjoy this video, please stay tuned for part two and three. Part two will be about artwork and the cases. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.